Thank you for the show. Thank you. And it's the third time we come here to Poland. Right. And right. this is the uh, uh, difference between this show and the other shows. Is there an uh, evolution of the band? Uh, I think the only difference really was that last time we were here, um, we've had two records come out since the last time we were here. So uh, we got to play new songs, different songs, and it seemed like people were doing the stuff with us. So, uh, I feel it felt a little better this time around just because we got to play new stuff. Playing new stuff always feels good. And especially once people like, that are at the show know the songs, you know? So uh, yeah, it's cool. Um, you have a new record, right? Yeah, yeah. It came out this year. Made by the Code, yeah. Made by the Code. Why, yeah. why is, what's the new thing about this new record? What do you mean? Like, well, it's, new, new, it's new songs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, brand new songs. Yeah, uh, there's a musical uh, revolution. Um, I mean... You're pretty much with the same, with the same Yeah, message. I mean, I, like, it's not gonna be... It's not like we're gonna change too much from record to record because that would've made sense to go with it's not like we're gonna turn around and put out a fucking like an emo record or something like that. It's still, it's still a hardcore record. I mean, there's some there's some different things thrown in here and there, but it sticks to the kind of music that we like to listen to. You know, we're not trying to like, make, we're not trying to like reinvent the wheel or do anything real crazy. You know, we're just making music that we like and music that gets the energy going. You know, like, the most like the most important thing is getting the message across, like you know, the lyrics in the record and like the whole layout of the record and everything put together, like the message along with the music. It's like, uh, about that. What do you think about those new, those new styles, like this emo stuff that we're just talking about? I mean, that's fine. With it. Like, I don't listen to like I listen to a lot of soft music. I don't, I don't know if you would call it emo or not, but like it's whatever. Like, I, I don't I don't have like a real problem with it. It's just not my particular taste in music. But if you ask the four other dudes in the band with me, they might have a different answer. Like, I'm not sure what everyone likes as far as like emo goes. Emo to me is probably a lot different than what emo is today too. Like, I, emo to me is like shit from the 90s, like, you know, like, the Get Up Kids and stuff like that, which I don't really listen to. I, I like Safe Day a lot, but, like, I don't know, like, it's, out, it's like, out of my world, out of my realm, like, I don't, I don't really know. You say that with uh, Victor Records, right? You right, right. Uh, is there, yeah, like, any difference from the past labels now? What's... Yeah, yeah, there's not, not, not any kind of huge difference, but, I mean, they, uh, I don't know, they've been really cool. I, Fortunately enough, I don't have to deal too much with like all the label stuff. Like that. every every person in the band has like their own things that they do and jobs that they have. Luckily, the label shit is not my thing, you know. So, but from my perspective, I think they've been awesome. You know, they've really helped us a lot. Is there like any order tell you that you guys have to do this? Like oh, absolutely not. No, we would have never. We would have never worked with them. They would try to talk to them. You know? In the end, I mean, we really, we really lucked out. We got to do basically whatever we wanted to do. Like, our record came out in the U.S. and Canada on Victory Records, but then uh, in Europe, we stayed with Century Media. And then, like, uh, our friends, our good friends, like Victory Records, uh, still put out the vinyl. So, yeah, it's kind of like a collection of different people working all together. I don't think that's very common for Victory Records to allow that to happen. Scott's had like a long relationship with them because he's always very alive and he's a label. Yeah, so I think, I think we kind of got away with it. So. You guys have been playing like more than uh, 10 years already? Yeah, yeah, uh, man. I'm almost have, 11 now. I think. You have to travel all around the world. Uh, uh, what do you think? Uh, is it difficult to tour or is it a good thing? I mean, Everything has its difficulties, but it's not like the difficulties are like so minuscule compared to how good it is to be on tour and stuff like that. So like, obviously, it's never going to be perfect. There's going to be problems when you're on the road. You know, you got to like, for instance, like on this tour, like we got to wake up real early, get to the airport, fly to the next show, really not have any time to do much. And like, you know, you don't, you don't really sleep much. And it's just like, Sitting in cars all day long, stuff like that. But fuck that. Like that doesn't even matter compared to like still we're here in Colombia playing a show. Like, so people if people could easily complain about being on the road that much, but we don't really care about that shit. And that's why we stayed in there for as long as we Do you think there's some special energy of the Latin Latin people, Latino crowds and stuff? Yeah, definitely. Definitely, it's different. I mean, there's like. 
every every country we go to has a, even even within like comparing like Colombia to like Brazil, it's like even it's got its differences and stuff, you know. So that's one of the coolest things on earth is like we get to experience that. You know, we're here in Colombia tonight, and then we'll be in Lima, Peru next, and then we go to Argentina and stuff like that to see every different like every different country having its different like styles and like energy and stuff. It's awesome. Exactly. With, in 2014, you guys are gonna. Australia. Yeah, yeah, right at the beginning of, uh, of the year we go to Australia on this like, new festival tour called Soundwave. Yeah, and you have any, any other plans? You have, uh, yeah, yeah, we'll be in Europe in January also. Like, right, right in the new year we like start off like going hard kind of like, uh, we do We do Europe in January on the Persistence Tour with Suicidal Tendencies and then, and then from there we do Australia for Soundwave. <laughs> and then directly after that tour, uh, Sings in another band called Down and Under. So those two bands are staying, and we're going to stay in Australia and do like another tour on that one of the shows. And then after that, back on the road, you know, so we got a lot of stuff coming up. You guys are so committed for sure all with the hardcore message. Do uh, you actually think that hardcore should play the message? Or how's, how's that? How would be your definition of hardcore? Yeah, see, that's where it gets like tricky. I mean, everyone has their own definition because everybody grew up differently and has their own opinions on things and stuff like that. But I think like the, like what it comes down to in the end is like a, a basic idea that this is like without the people doing stuff that come to the shows. You know, it's like in other music and other scenes and stuff like that. Like it's kind of like controlled by the industry or whatever you want to call it. They're the ones that like they do everything. They're the ones that dictate what bands sound like, what's cool, what you know, what's the new thing, whatever. But Marvel will never be like that. It's gonna be run in the underground, and, like by the people at the shows. You know, like, there's no dividing line between a band member. A person who does a record label, a person who does a scene, you know, a kid who just comes to the show and, you know, stage dies and provides a So it's like, that's going to be the difference between the music and everything else in the world. Is that, you know, <clears throat> even though there's a stage and we may be like a little bit elevated visually playing music and shit, it doesn't make a difference between us on stage and the people. I think that's like the, the number one, like no matter how you think like hardcore is to you or whatever, like that's like gonna be a number one thing. Like, you know, fighting. Okay, that's pretty good, Martin. Thank you so much for your time. Congratulations for the show. Thank you very much.